This is Lenny Farley, Purdue Extension Forester, and this is a Woodland Management Moment. In this edition of a Woodland Management Moment, I'd like to take you on a little walking tour of an experimental planting here at Purdue University that demonstrates the influence of density on forest structure and tree growth. And so in this planting, uh, three different species, black cherry, red oak, and American chestnut were planted at three different spacings, three meters, two meters, and one meter apart. And the area we're looking at right now in front of us is the three meters or approximately 10 feet apart. So this is the widest spacing. And as you can see, relatively open, nice straight stems in most cases, but we do have quite a few lower limbs still retained on this mostly red oak in this location. And so one of the advantages of wide spacing is we have trees that can develop large crowns and therefore grow relatively quickly in diameter, but we aren't getting the competition that oftentimes produces the straightest stems and also prunes lower limbs relatively quickly. And so there's a plus in that we're actually encouraging faster growth, but there's a minus if you're actually wanting to produce nice clear sections of stem for high quality wood products that are free of knots and defects. And so this is, as I mentioned, about three meters by three meters. We're gonna walk into an area that was planted much more densely. And so our next area is coming up here, and that's the one meter by one meter planting. And you'll see a noticeable difference in the size of the trees because of this high density. And so as we enter this area, we're in a, a mix of American chestnut, also some red oak in this area. And you'll notice very straight, but small diameter stems. And so the high level of competition has forced these trees to grow straight and tall and also naturally pruned off lower limbs, but it's really had a big impact on diameter growth because the crowns of these trees have been greatly compressed with all the competition. So this actually is how many forests regenerate as many thousands of seedlings per acre competing with each other, forcing trees to grow vertically, pruning lower limbs very rapidly, but reducing diameter growth pretty significantly with all the competition. The next area we're gonna walk into is the intermediate treatment, which is two meters by two meters or close to seven feet between trees. And you'll notice this definitely looks a little more open like our first area and our tree diameters are not as large, but we've also pruned off an awful lot of the lower limbs kind of naturally with competition uh, with, between the trees. And so in fact, this spacing about seven to eight feet apart is oftentimes what we recommend people plant their hardwood tree plantings at. It's a good compromise between the really high density that natural forests often regenerate at and wider spacings that do allow for fast growth, but may result in slightly lower tree quality because of the lack of natural pruning through competition.